The AI browser wars heat up, robotic startups are raising money, and NVIDIA starts an absolute AI stock frenzy. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news and discussions you need in five minutes or less. Let's kick off with the AI browser wars. AI experiences are, of course, changing how we do everything online, from searching to researching to getting recipes to planning our workouts. And part of the battle or part of the arms race is what interfaces we're going to use to actually access these new AI tools. Browsers are one of the major battlefields in that war, and Opera has now thrown their hat into the ring. They've just announced their new AI browser sidekick called Aria, which is powered by OpenAI's GPT. It can be used to find info on the web, generate text, or even provide support for using the browser. Opera tweeted my first day with Aria, performed real-time search to show open gyms, created a workout plan for my needs, made lazy Twitter mods sexy as hell. Bill Gates recently said that he thought that whoever figures out how to make the best AI personal assistant is going to be the winner of this whole arms race, and Aria is Opera's attempt. Google's DeepMind is bringing together two important trends right now, one short-form video and two AI. The newly consolidated group at Google just tweeted, Our powerful visual language model Flamingo is changing the way you can watch YouTube shorts. It automatically generates descriptions for hundreds of millions of videos in their metadata, making them more searchable. YouTube Shorts are a massive, massive market. They're viewed more than 50 billion times per day, and it is one of the dominant emerging formats. Flamingo generates descriptions from videos automatically. The value to users is that they're going to be able to much more easily search YouTube Shorts than they would have been able to before. For creators, theoretically, it means that their shorts might be viewed by more people who want to see the type of thing that those videos are actually about. Next up, it is Robots, Robots Everywhere. Another robotics-focused startup figure has raised $70 million. CEO Brett Adcock writes announcing figure $70 million Series A, from launch to robot in 12 months. One year ago today, we started working on the most ambitious project in my career. Can an autonomous humanoid robot be commercially viable this decade? I was compelled this was possible for the following reasons. Bipedal locomotion and walking has matured. AI algorithms and compute is here. Battery and motor energy and power is sufficient. This seems possible, and it will feel like 50 years of the future was pulled forward. 12 months later, he says they've scaled the team to 50 engineers, deployed Figure 1, their first full-scale humanoid robot, and designed commercial plans for the first robot applications. Figure joins Tesla, who just shared this video of their Optimus robots, as well as 1X's Eve in the robot race. Finally, on today's AI Breakdown Brief, let's talk about the massive AI stock rally that happened yesterday after NVIDIA's first quarter earnings report. The reason the stock market was so excited is that NVIDIA massively outperformed analyst expectations. Adjusted quarter one revenue came in at $7.19 billion, which was higher than the $6.52 billion that was forecast. But the big one was current quarter revenue, which NVIDIA estimates to be around $11 billion, which is more than 50% higher than analyst forecasts of $7.15 billion. NVIDIA was up 28% on the news, while other AI-related stocks, including C3 and Palantir, were up about 8% each. In total, more than $300 billion was added to the market capitalization of stocks related to AI. As NVIDIA approaches a market capitalization of $1 trillion, it is now the fifth biggest company on Wall Street. Now, NVIDIA's incredible results are probably also why there seems to be more and more attention to competing with the chip manufacturer. Microsoft has its project Athena, which is trying to make custom AI-focused chips. And Meta also announced a custom AI chip effort recently as well. But for now, NVIDIA rules the roost, and there is really no good competitor. And as AI becomes more and more important, they stand to gain even more. That's it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll be back soon for the main AI Breakdown.